not exactly the safest thing to do. Leo, you might want to look out, buddy. This is going to get a little violent. But, see, if I could jump in the seat here. There. All the parts just pop right off. Oh, well, that's kind of a bummer. It won't hook up and... Oh, my God. Holy crap. It actually worked. Let's go ahead and clean her up here. Oh, wow. Okay. If you guys want, pause the video and just stare at this puppy for a minute because it just looks way too damn cool. That's definitely screenshot worthy. It's just sticking way too... Oh, oh God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Please don't go in the water. This engine is going to be pissed by the time we're done. And I went off the track again. Damn it. That sucks. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Twisted Rides Gaming YouTube channel, and on today's episode of Mon Bazoo, I'm taking my old beat-up army truck here, and we're going to be turning this thing into an all-out race machine. Um, it looks a little bit different from the last time you've seen it, if you guys seen my last Mon Bazoo episode. And, uh, well, I let it out in the rain, and, uh, yeah, I don't know what happened to it, it just got all rusty on me. But, anyway, here we are. The truck is not exactly the greatest of shape here, which is kind of funny. It actually has a camouflage look to it now, which I wish I had before. But um, I definitely do want to revert this truck back to this look eventually, but I do want to try new things with it. So, let's go ahead and get this thing in the garage here. How is everyone doing? Leave a comment down below. Hopefully everyone's doing alright. Hopefully 2023 has been a better year for everybody. Alright, get this puppy in the garage here. Now I have... Gone shopping already. It's a Saturday, unfortunately, and Roger is closed on Saturdays. But that doesn't mean we can't have our fun. I got a new set of wheels with sport tires. So I don't know if this thing is going to drift or if it's going to... Uh, oh, excuse me. I got the hiccups. Um, so I don't know if she's going to drift or if she's uh, going to grip. Okay, there we go. Let's got her off the ground there. And I have the 8-inch uh, drop springs that we're going to be putting on here. Where's the other jack stand? Ah, here it is. Morning, Leo. All right. And it's a shame. I love this look. I don't want to get rid of it. But there's way more things to be doing with this truck. And that's why we are doing this. This look will be coming back. I promise that. Because um, I just like it too damn much <laughs> um, to get rid of it. I might put some new bolts on here before we're done. Now, let me get all the bolts out beforehand. Oop. Oh, no. Is that one not all the way in? <laughs> that would be my luck to not tighten a bolt all the way. All right. Got this side. We're basically going to strip this puppy all the way down to its bare bones. Um, I'm even taking out the maple syrup tank for uh, weight savings, if you know what I mean. Oh, man. This game is really turning into something with this truck. I can't wait to see the new car uh, when it's coming out. I don't know. It could be next year for all I know. Um, even though I'm not exactly excited for a, a hatchback car, um, unfortunately that's all we have to work with at the moment. I would love to see a muscle car in this game. I think that would just be it right there. That would be so cool if we had that. Um, Oh, hey, here's a nice thing. If I do put these bumpers back on, I don't have to fix them. <laughs> that would be super convenient. But yeah, this game definitely needs a muscle car uh, flavor to it. I think that would really set it off. I know it's mostly about the uh, the Koenig, but I'm just not into the Koenig. It's not it's not my flavor. I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, I, I did my own thing to it, but... It's just not for me. The truck is more my speed. I really like uh, what we did with the truck. Come on, do the mechanic mind meld thing here. Wait, wait. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. Just throw that there. <clears throat> oh, I could have, could have had it. Come on, where is it? Parkour, parkour. Bingo. Got that one. Okay, so that should be off. No, there we go. There's that one. Okay, believe I got all those bolts out. Now, unfortunately, I only have two jack stands. I left all of mine at the uh, racetrack, and I haven't grabbed any more. But that's fine. We'll we will manage one way or another. Man, I'm gonna put all the shiny bolts on this thing. Okay, get this side taken off here. 
All right. Um, for those of you who haven't seen my my garage videos or my BMG videos, um, hit 900 subscribers. I cannot believe it. I could not have done it without you guys. So thank you very much. That bolt's loose too. My God, when I put this thing together, did I forget to put all these in? I must have, because they're all loose. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a secret, but, you know, promise you won't do this on your own vehicle. It's not exactly the safest thing to do. Leo, you might want to look out, buddy. This is going to get a little violent. But, see, if I could jump in the seat here, there, all the parts just pop right off. Everything. Oh, boy, maybe this was a mistake. <laughs> Undo... There, that'll keep it from moving. All right, so now all of my parts are off, so I can just pick them up and set them somewhere else. Don't have to deal with the removing button or anything silly like that, which is super convenient. All right, just take these puppies and set them over here. <clears throat> all righty then. Um, I'm really enjoying the uh, the F100 slash F350 mod in uh, in my garage. That game is really turning into something of its own as well. I guess I can put the new leaf springs on. I don't know why they have to be pink, but I guess this thing's going to sit so low, no one's ever going to see them anyway, I suppose. <clears throat> um, if there's any configurations you guys would like to see on this truck, definitely let me know what you would like to see. I'd be more than happy to uh, try new things on it. Um, I'll save those for the lug nuts. I could have swore I had a tray full of nuts. Or, sorry, bolts, though. No, they're all rusty and crusty. Um, let's see here. What color do I want to put down there? Now, I think I'm going to be painting the truck blue, so I guess I'll go with some blue bolts here. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, wait. I have to put the big bolts back in because that's what holds... Aha, uh -huh, that's what holds this guy on. All right, now I need to... Do this side. Say, am I missing a spring? Oh, no. Okay. I already put it on. Okay. I thought I goofed. All right. Put that one on. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, if you guys can think of any cool configurations that I could put on this puppy, um, it definitely let me know. I'm curious to see what you guys think. Um, don't worry. The army truck will be coming back at one point or another because I just honestly love the way it looks. I don't feel like putting all these shiny bolts in here. Okay. Uh, this thing's starting to slide around a little bit. But that's fine. We'll manage. Come on, plop that in there. Then I'll come back through and put all the... Stop it. Come back through, put all the bolts back in. Put the impact gun. Oh, man. This thing is going to be in the weeds like crazy. All right, did I put all the big bolts back in? I'm not sure. Let me... Did I stick that one back in? I think I did. And I'll find out here in one second. Okay. Come on. Okay, got that one this time. Got this one this time. All right. Got that one. That one's 100%. All right. Um, this needs to go somewhere else. All right. Save all these for whenever I put this thing back to the way it's supposed to look. I wonder if I can just set this over at the Maple Shack and if it'll just start filling up with maple syrup. That'd be awesome if it would do that. So let's see if it'll do that real quick. Oh, well, that's kind of a bummer. It won't hook up. And oh, my God. Holy crap. It actually worked. So this doesn't have to be on the truck in order for you to fill it. Okay. So this can do its thing. Well, I'm doing my other thing. So, hell yeah. Where'd I put the trailer? I know I... I don't... Hey, buddy. I don't remember what I did with that. So, that save that for another time. See if it bolts in the trailer, because I don't know. It'd be super nice if we could put that in the trailer so I could leave it and use the truck for other things, because usually what I do is I'll just let the truck sit over there and let it fill up with the syrup. Um, that tank is definitely a game changer with the whole maple syrup thing, because you can all... Oh, there's the damn trailer. Is there any bolt holes in it? Nope, no bolt holes. <clears throat> but I can leave the tank in the back and just drag it around, I guess. Oh man, look at the squat on that thing. No, it is not staying like this. I refuse to put that ridiculous look on this truck. It deserves way better than that. Okay, can I put the rear wheels on there? Or is that going to make this thing... 
Oh, okay. I guess that works. No jack stands needed. God, that still looks so ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, so... Ah, here's my chrome bolt. Can I... Damn it! Okay, that's how we do that. Alright, now... Is this the clean one? Yep, this is the clean one. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. We can grab out of the pack now. No. Ah. Coolio. I am going with a blue color on this truck for this episode, but if you guys can think of any other colors I can try if I do like a super lifted version, because they have 12 inch springs at the, uh, um, at Rogers that I could put on here if I really wanted to, but I'm not entirely sure I want to go that high. It's not really my flavor, but I'm definitely curious to see how it would look on this truck. So if that's something you guys would like to see, uh, definitely smash that like button or uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Oh, the pack disappeared. Okay, I need a few more lug nuts, which those are all dirty. Those are too big. I think these are silver. Okay. I have seven more lug nuts to go. I don't know what color anything is over here. Really like for them to stay all uniform, if I'm being honest. Um, okay. Right, I have one more wheel left after this one here. So I need five more lug nuts, preferably in a chrome color. Oh, yeah. See how nice that looks? It's nice, clean. It doesn't stand out too much. It's not bad at all. Um, we're going to be using all of this here in a minute. If I can just find some darn chrome bolts... Metal. Hey, there we go. Some nice, clean new bolts. I'm just going to set this over here so I don't have to run around like an idiot. Okay, set that right there. Grab the impact gun and zip the wheels right on here. Bend down. Bend down. Thank you. Um, For those of you watching, um, I could use some ideas for something. I am getting super close to 1,000 subs. And nothing would make me happier than have a few ideas for uh, a thousand subs uh, video. I was considering maybe trying a live stream, maybe, for the first time. I've never done that before. And I think that would be quite interesting. Perhaps in uh, my garage uh, my garage video. Because I have something cool planned for that game. And it'd be way too much to put in one episode. I actually kind of like this looking the way it is. There we go. We don't need that where we're going. Man, I almost wish it was sitting lower, but hey, it's all we have to work with here. Um, so yeah, I was considering doing a live stream, or if there's another game you guys would like to see me do, um, I'd be happy to do that as well. Come on, let's get all them um, dents out of here. Oh man, I forgot how slow this was. Okay. So the body is done. I just need to get the doors and it should be okay. At least I think so. Okay, I think we got that. Can't use this tool on this. Fine. Can't use the tool on that. Alright, so we have that now. It is time to get rid of all the rest. I'm glad I bought all of these. I didn't know I'd be using it on this truck, but let's go ahead and clean her up here. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. I actually almost kind of like the white on here. It's a really... Nice, clean look. What's it do to the grill? Also white. Or no, it's kind of like chrome, I guess. What? Oh. Oh, quiet. It's not that bad. Oh, wow. Look at how pretty that is. I don't know. I might have to keep a white truck at one... You know what? The lifted truck is going to be white. I think that is indeed what we are going to do. So, uh, let's see here. Wow. That is absolutely awesome. I do... Wait, where's all my paint I grabbed? It's metallic, metallic removal, gloss clear, metallic removal, paint metallic. Where's all the stuff I just grabbed? Is it sitting in the driveway? I don't know. I lost all my crap already. <laughs> no. No, metallic paint. Wish we could lean. Ah, chrome. Here we go. This will really shine her up for sure. Oh, yeah. Chrome. I have no idea what that changed, but... Oh, I think it's the actual color chrome. 
All right, so we have full gloss, full color. So you could probably recreate this color on your own if you want. Oh, stop that. Maple syrup in the house. All right, awesome. Got this chrome, full chrome, full gloss, full metallic. So there's nothing else I really need to do to that. Um, can I paint this bumper section here? Is it? No, it's just going to paint the body if I do that. So now it is time for me to do the paint. Oh man, this might be like too blue, but let's see how it lays out here. So 217 and 142 gloss is what we need to bring the truck back to white again. Oh wow. That is an awesome shade of blue. It's almost kind of like a ultra blue or like a Maui blue or something like that. What the hell? What are you... Oh, stop that. Paint the damn door. Just wasted half a can on this. Man, I wish I had the original paint code for the original interior because I can't say I ever paid attention to it. Man, I'm going to have to get some maple syrup here in a minute. This, he is just not having it. Oh, wow. All right, that is a kick-ass blue. I like that color blue. All right, now I need some gloss and metallic. It's metallic removal. Ah, metallic. All right, let's see what this does to this blue here. I might be taking this off. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. Really kind of deepens the color a little bit, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that is a sick color. Um, let's see here. I need to ah, gloss clear. Get our full gloss, full shine. Oh, yeah. It just sucks because... Uh, Nope, not what I wanted here. All right, so, okay, my guy's getting hungry and thirsty. I'm going to take care of that. If you guys want, pause the video and just stare at this puppy for a minute because it just looks way too damn cool. That's definitely screenshot worthy. Okay, well, it sucks that it's raining right now. Uh, let's see, where's where's Leo? I don't know where Leo is. Um, I need to put the, the dog seat bed thing. Where did that go? It was in the truck. Oh, no. Leo, where's your car seat, buddy? It's not in the car. Oh, no. Oh, there it is. Okay. So we're going to put this back on the truck. Buddy, we're going to spend the night at the racetrack, and hopefully it dries out tomorrow morning. We're going to take this thing for a solid rip around the racetrack. I wish we could do engine work to this thing and soup it up and stuff, but maybe for a future update we will have that opportunity. Come on, Leah, let's go. Man, I had all sorts of cool gadgets for this thing. I had the, uh, the brass knuckle shifter. I had... A digital speedometer. I had all the cool racy stuff for this thing. And I crashed the BMW on my way back and lost everything. So, let's go ahead and take this thing on a test drive. <clears throat> it looks like a street machine now. Can I get the camera behind, please? Thank you. This thing doesn't really sit as low as I wanted it to. I mean, an 8-inch drop, man, you think this thing would be dragging on the ground. But uh, it's actually sitting up fairly high. This thing actually has incredible traction for... Uh... Wait a minute. Do I have it? No, it's in two-wheel drive. This These tires just must work really good. These tires just must work really nice. Oh, don't go over the edge, don't go over the edge. Okay. This thing may not drift very well. So I'm glad I said race car instead of drift car, because originally that's what I wanted to do, but it's just sticking way too... Oh, 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 God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Please don't go in the water. Please stop. Please stop. Okay. You okay, Leo? It would suck, and I actually kind of wish that, uh, that Santa Goat would do this. But you know how the truck was kind of, like, beat up and I had to, like, fix it all up? Can we get back on the road, please? This thing doesn't really have the four-wheel capabilities it had before. Um, oh, man. Okay. Please stay on the road. All right. So, anyway, what I was saying was it would be kind of cool if Santa Goat made the uh, ability to where if you crash it, it gets dented up. You know, kind of like how it is when you have to use the hammer set on it to fix it. Like, a little bit of punishment you know, for doing stuff. Like, 
the more you beat it up, the more beat up the panel gets, or... I don't want to say make it rusty. I mean, crashing it won't make it rusty, but if you left it untouched, then it would get rusty. I think that would be something kind of neat. But again, that's just my two cents on it. God, this truck just looks so nice. Roger, I wish you were open on Saturday from like a 8 to noon kind of thing. That would be kind of slick. Oh, wait, I need to check my power bill. I haven't paid that sucker in forever. This thing is not going to drift with these sport tires on here at all. I should have left the crap tires on the back. All right, Leo, you stay here. Make sure Mr. Bonjour doesn't steal my truck. I've seen that happen. Okay, it is so weird playing with a controller and a mouse. Oh, oh, crap. I have a few bills. Okay, let's go ahead and pay that. I was... I did sign the damn thing. Oh, okay. I guess I didn't sign it. Okay, so let's go ahead and take care of this one. Oh. Okay, I thought it was a second bill. Hey, I just spent that much money on my... Alright, whatever. Um, parking lot every Saturday and Sunday. He has his own store now, so what does that matter? Alright, so let's go ahead and hit the road again. Take out the snack shack sign. I wonder if we can actually steal that and take it home with us. Oh yeah, we cruising now. I actually got to work on a truck that looked almost exactly like this. It was a square body. Um, I used to call it the boomerang truck because no matter how many times we fixed it, the damn thing would keep coming back. Um, we wound up putting a transmission in it, and the customer bought the wrong one. It was one of those you know customer supplied things. And he bought the wrong transmission, so when he, when he put his shifter back on, the truck was shifting backwards. So, first gear was back and left, second gear was forward left, then third gear was bottom right, and fourth was straight forward right, and then reverse was in an even weirder spot. So, it wasn't really ideal. <laughs> so, then we had to have him go out and get another shifter assembly. Well, the shifter knob was like out of a sports car, so it was like down by your ankles to shift the stupid thing. It was a whole mess. We finally found a way to like get a taller shifter on it, and the guy was happy with it. But he kept bringing it back for other stuff. What it was, I don't, I don't freaking remember. But it was the boomerang truck. So no matter how hard you tried to throw it away, it kept coming back. Ow! Whoop! T too many gears. All right, so I'm gonna chill out here for a while. I want the rain to go away so we can get a good uh, stab at this thing on the racetrack. All right, come on, Leo. Man, using the controller is not ideal with this thing. All right. What? That's... Oh, come on. Get, get, let me out. Stop. What's going on here? Come on. There we go. Okay. Go ahead and shut the truck off. All right. I don't think I set the parking brake, but that's right. I shouldn't go for... Oh, hey. Here's all my old parts. Hmm. I don't know. A bumper on or off, guys? What do you think? Like with the lowered setup. I feel like... I don't know. Like, I wish it was sitting lower. Like, I want this tire tucked up in here. But I have to put a crap ton of weight in this thing in order to make that happen. What? Did that just lower it a little bit? Well, I don't want to add weight to it, but... Oh, wait. D does petting him make my anxiety go down? It does. Well, that's awesome. All right, uh, to do race car. I have a records list over here. Um, so the old truck oval was a 21 second uh, point six, uh, on the oval track before. Derby, I won. Okay, drag. I didn't drive the truck on the track, but the Koenig went a 49 second. Old truck went 1161 in the drag. So with me having a bunch of stuff off of it, I wonder if it's actually faster. But given I'll have Leo in the truck with me. I don't know. I'm awfully curious to see what kind of stats we can put up here with the lowered and uh, and the better uh, suspension that we have on her. So <clears throat> I'm going to take a screen grab of this so we can come back to it. All right. So I'm going to get me some rest, and I will see you guys in the morning. All right, everyone. It is early in the morning. We have some tests to do. We have some stats to beat here. 
Um, I guess I'm going to start with the drag race, then do the oval, and then go ahead and do the big track. So, I honestly want to beat the Koenig times, but I seriously doubt I will. The track, I might, because the truck seems to stick extremely well. Drag, I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to have to just wait and see. So, let's dive in here. All right, hop on in, Leo. That adds weight. Get out. Good man. All right. So, let's get her fired up here. I don't remember what order I said I was going to do things, but the oval's right here. But best use the controller for this. <clears throat> so I'm going to do three laps, I think, and see uh, how well I can do here. So I know I've done this before a long, long, long time ago, but... Alright. All right, dig deep. Come on, truck. I think we can do fairly good with these new tires on here. Oh, man, this thing is sticking like loot. I think this thing handles better than the Koenig. This thing actually drives a little too well for a big truck. Oh, oh, man. Oh, crap. Whoops. <laughs> All right, so from a dig, it was 23 seconds. I think it was like 19 for the Koenig. Which, I don't remember what my previous record was. I'm going to have to go back and take a look. I think it was like 21 or something. Um, but I'll definitely put up the stats at the end of the video. 24. Oh, it's because I went off the track <clears throat> last time. Oh, come on. This isn't NASCAR. I can't ride the wall. Oh. 19.1. New best. I think I just beat the Koenig. I think I just beat the Koenig. Let's see if we can beat that again. <clears throat> oh, the engine braking. 18.1. Holy cow. We are shaving the time off here. I wouldn't be surprised if I beat the Koenig in the road course. Oh yeah. This engine is going to be pissed by the time we're done. I think this truck only has like a little 305 in it. Oh, I didn't beat my record that one. Yeah, I think 21 seconds was the best I like did before. Uh, glance off the wall. NASCAR style. Oh, come on. Can I get her down into the 17s? Okay. I think this might be my last lap here because I'm trying to set records. Oh, no. Come on. I'm trying for 17 so bad. Okay. Come on. Okay. Yeah! 17-9. Alright, let's go check the stats on the board real quick. Oh, that was awesome. Not really a drift machine. I do need to watch my fuel, though, because... Okay, I should have enough to do the next couple races. Alright, come on, stop. Alright, hang on right here, Leo. Alright, so, best times... On the oval, oh, Koenig was 16 seconds. Uh, almost just as fast as the buggy, and you guys know that thing is a rocket ship, but only one, 1. 3 second difference between the Koenig and the old truck, and that was with, I think, the best parts that the Koenig had during all those testings I was doing. It's, I think that was just drag racing. I don't exactly remember what I was doing. I did a lot that episode, but now we have the drag race, so we have to beat 11.6. Or 9.59 for the drag, which I'm doing next. All right, Leo, you having fun, buddy? I can't pet you in here. That sucks. I can't believe this truck is setting records with this new suspension setup. I imagine we could add, uh, like, sway bars and stuff, stiffer springs. All right, ooh, nitrous. Oh, man, nitrous would be sick. OK, 
Can't tell if that was first or second. Oh, 10.5? Hang on, was that it already? Did I already beat the Koenig? I don't remember. Crap, I don't remember what the old uh, what the old one was. Alright, I do want to try that again because I think I accidentally started out in second gear. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot about something cool. We have all-wheel drive. So let's put it in four high. <clears throat> Then I can really dump the clutch in first gear. All right, that's reversed first. Oh, damn it, I jumped the gun. All right, come on, root for me. Can I beat the record I just set? Oh, uh, I think that's all she's got. Let me check the leaderboard again. I wonder if all-wheel drive would have helped me in the oval at all, but... See, she wasn't really, like, getting sideways on me at all, so I don't know what four-wheel drive will do for me. All right, Leo, sit here a second. Okay, let's see here. Oval, Koenig was... Oh, no, wait, I'm thinking drag. Oh, my God. I don't remember what I started out as, but again, I'm only one second behind the Koenig again, once again. Wow, that is unbelievable. Now, if I can beat the Koenig at the track, that would be super surprising, because I think I struggled with that one pretty hard. Here we are, once again, setting records with the old truck. All right, buddy, let's go check out the actual racetrack. All right. Now the first lap's just going to be the warm up because I got to get some speed built up. But I think the Koenig was like 49 seconds that I have to beat. Even if I get within a second of that, I'm going to call this a success just because of how big this truck is, you know? Big and heavy. Oh wow. Okay. All right. Okay. Suspension is getting really disturbed on the corners there. Which I don't know if the suspension is meant for stance or handling or or what, but... <clears throat> okay. Alright, so that one corner, I really need to be easy on it, because it will... It will want to throw me off. Oh, man, I feel like we're struggling a little, little bit. This thing doesn't have the low-end torque to pull me through the corners here. Okay. So here's the start-finish line. 49 seconds is all I have to beat. All right, 62 seconds. We have a lot of work to do. All right, and I got to be really easy on this corner up here. So I need to shave off about 13 seconds. All right, kept her on the track this time. That should soak up a lot of time. I forgot I put the better brakes on here, so that... That also helps a lot, too. Oh, man. Why is this thing struggling now? Man, it's not like I'm pulling any weight. Leo, I might have to ditch you for the next round. Because I don't, I don't know how much he weighs. I don't know if his weight affects um, the way a vehicle handles. At least I would like to think it doesn't. All right. Come on. 49 seconds. That's all I have to beat. Oh, 52 seconds. Come on. Fifty-two seconds. I gotta shave off another three seconds to beat the Koenig. Come on. You know I'm pushing hard on the remote control whenever the horn goes off. I'm trying to just take it full bore now, but I don't think I can. Just keep it in this gear and let her eat. Oh, no, I missed. Damn it. That sucks so bad. I need to try this lap again. And I went off the track again. Damn it. That sucks so bad. But 52 seconds, that's not bad at all for this old pickup truck. 
with the 305. Now I want engine upgrades for this truck because I... I mean, come on. This thing has got to be faster than a four-cylinder BMW. It has to be. I mean, I know it's not, but it really needs to be. All right, Leo. I think that's going to be it for today. All right. Go ahead and shut her down. All right. So drag within one second. Uh, the track within three seconds and the oval within one second. I think that is pretty solid for just a couple suspension and tire upgrades. If we could do some engine work to this thing, engine tuning, a turbo, supercharger, anything, this thing would be a real powerhouse. Leo, you didn't close your door, goof. Yeah, you're a good boy. I don't care. All right, so I think that is going to do it for this episode. If you guys liked what you saw here, hit smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the old truck update and the modifications I have done to it. And again, I de could definitely use some ideas for a thousand sub, maybe even hundredth episode combined uh, channel thing. I just totally screwed that up, but I don't care. That's what this channel is all about. It doesn't have to be perfect. So, Leo, I wish you could sit up here with me because I think that's going to do it for this episode here. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.